my brother made a, a abnormally large amount of rice for dinner yesterday. So, we're going to make some Chinese fried rice. I'll show you my father's secret recipe he taught me. And we're going to get that up. Get some heat going. Oh. Alright, so we got some heat. Now I want to take and put uh, about half of that and because I don't have a tripod with me, it's actually out in the garage right now, uh, I'm going to turn you off and I'll turn back on as soon as I've got that loaded up. Now my rice is a little clumpy and a little bit dried out from uh, being in the fridge. so. You just want to sort of smush it down, break up those clumps, turn the heat down. I had it up at about five, halfway. You want to turn the heat down, otherwise you're going to burn your rice. Oops, stir it around. A couple more clumps. Alright, now you want to want to let that sit and let it all warm up for just a little while. And now is the perfect time to get your stuff that you're adding to it ready. Normally I would put um, some sort of meat, some sort of uh, uh, vegetables. I have the meat ready to go right there. Not a lot, but uh, enough for a meal. Um, and I have no vegetables that I really would like to add to this. I have a couple things of broccoli, but I'm not a big fan of broccoli. So, we're going to go vegetable list on this one for now. And another few minutes, and we're going to add some spices and stuff to it. Alright, I think the rice is sufficiently heated. Um, you want it so that when you move it around the, the, the uh, frying pan... Hold on, I want you hear it. You can hear it. It, it doesn't slide around. You can, you can tell it. it's crispy as it moves around. You just want that to start happening. And then... You add the main ingredient that makes the rice Chinese rice. Oh, got it all over the place there. You don't want to add too much to start with, otherwise, it'll be extremely overpowering. Add a few dashes, stir it in, and then you can add more if you need to. I do. Not much, but a little bit. That should be perfect. Alright, and then garlic because everything's better with garlic. You don't want to add too much of this, because otherwise it'll be extremely overpowering. And just a pinch of salt. Now let that heat up again for a few seconds as I put stuff away. Alright, I'm going to bring all the rice into the center and then create a divot. 
in the middle of that. And then what you're going to do, and again, because I have no tripod, I can't actually show you doing this. You're going to break your egg into the center of that. Alright, now you have that done. What you're going to do is slowly push this back out. Turn the heat up just a bit. Oh, I can smell the garlic. It smells really good. Now the reason you put it in the in the in the circle like that, put this in the middle, was so that it doesn't run everywhere. But it actually gets down through those excuse me, through those crevices. What you're doing now <clears throat> is spreading it out and letting it cook. You can see there's a little bit that's gone through. But now the point is just to spread it around. It doesn't necessarily need to cook evenly. There's going to be chunks. And that's just fine. Give that another minute. Let it sit there and cook. All right, that's sufficiently heated up. So we take our meat. We add it. This would be the same time you were adding your vegetables, whether they were frozen or uh, a, a fresh vegetables. Uh, you don't need to unthaw them. Basically just let them sit on the counter for a few minutes while you're preparing this. And then you toss them in. As long as they're not covered in like chunks of ice, then there will be no issue. those around, make sure they're mixed up real well. And once again, you let it sit. Alright, once that meat's all heated up, and if you were to have vegetables in here, so right they're heated up, it's ready to go. Serve it out. Put your favorite topping on it. Away you go.